in this in the city is sort of ahead of the curve in terms of uh, uh, the challenges of global warming, sure. and making a transition from fossil fuels to renewables. Uh, but of course, we're still going too slowly, as you probably know. Sure. And so I just always try and do whatever I can to help us be a better biking community, uh, more electric cars. Uh, and this was just something that happened to come up uh, because I I happened to walk this, this pathway that I mentioned in the letter. Uh, walk the dogs in there sometimes. I bike, bike, bike. And there's a, a new bridge, as you know, going over to East Palo Alto uh, from that area over near the center of it. This, the, the Newell Street Bridge is going to be improved, and uh, I presume there'll be good biking pedestrian access through there. And with that, and the bridge only another block or so away, it's East Palo Alto. I imagine there can be a lot more biking through that area. And it occurred to me that the, that, that area, Edgewood Plaza, right down the road, uh, West Bayshore Road. It's kind of a, it's not a very nice road the way it is now. It's just, it's just kind of, you know, no houses on it or anything. Yeah. But uh, it would be a nice bike pathway, pedestrian access from the bridge over to Palo Alto, uh, the East Palo Alto, the Newell Street Bridge over to uh, Edgewood Plaza. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do notice that we, we live on a street where there are uh, some people walk to Edgewood Plaza mm -hmm. back. And, you know, since the, since the uh, shopping center opened, the, the market, there's a big increase in pedestrian traffic. Oh, people have to walk there. Yeah. Okay. And, and, you know, it's, it's nice to know that we've replaced some cars with people who bike and walk instead of drive their cars. So maybe, um, I've just brought up a map here. So maybe yeah. it exists to put this together. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, so here's uh, West Bay Show. There's the shopping center yeah. there, right? And here's the creek with a new bridge across the creek here. And there's a, uh, a fairly large uh, uh, condo complex, which I forget the name of, but it's a lot of people live there. Three stories and uh, a bike path along here would service all these people to the shopping center. Mm -hmm. It would serve to uh, people going across to the uh, uh, Home Depot area, the mm -hmm. East Palo Alto Shopping Center, across the bridge, which I guess is about right across here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, and then the Newell Street Bridge here. Mm -hmm. So you'd connect these bikeways mm -hmm. with the shopping center here. Mm -hmm. And it'd be a nice straight shot to go anywhere in this, this part of Palo Alto to the edge of the shopping center. Rather than make your way through the streets, which have stop signs and so forth, you could go over here and go straight down. It'd be a very fast run because there's, there's no stop sign. So let me just get started this back there. So you're saying um, having a having a um, oh, wait, wait. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Okay. You're saying yeah. having having a, a bike lane from like from the bridge here yeah. down down on this street along 101, right. on along Bayshore. Okay. Right. The only issue is that along here is actually East P EPA, right? The river divides up EPA and Palo Alto. So this yes. is actually not on yes. jurisdiction. That's right. So I guess East Palo Alto starts somewhere here. Right at the river. Oh at the river, that's right. Yeah. So yes, it's mostly East Palo Alto. So okay. it'll be a joint city yeah. operation, I guess. Okay. But it just makes so much sense. That I thought I'd just throw out the suggestion. Yeah, you, you know, um, I actually I, I bike to Paul, um, Home Depot a lot, right? Uh -huh. For stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what I do is I bike over, um, you know, there's a there's a uh, bike bridge, you know. Yeah, a little yeah. bit further on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's over, over here. here it's over here. Yeah. So right. there's a little bike bridge. Yeah. Right. Bike that, and then I go this way, right? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. But this this road's all messed up. You know, the, yeah, it's, it's terrible. All, there's all the construction and stuff. Yeah. So, um, so it's a little bit of a dicey. You know, dicey bike ride. Yeah. Um, what I do is, is I go down this road and then go the, uh, the creek road. Oh. And I can, it's escape some of this nastiness. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. You could go up here and then. Yeah, just go past the the baseball field oh, okay. and take a left along the creek. Okay. And then this, this lets you out on the uh, this, this road here. Oh, and I you're see. still on the sidewalk here, which is yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot that. Oh, and the other thing you can do is, is if, if this weren't closed off, there's a bridge here across the oh. creek. 
you can go out this way uh -huh. and then go down O'Connor Avenue uh -huh. and get to Home Depot. Yeah, what I usually do is I, I just bike over the over over uh, over the Espresso Bridge, mm -hmm. right? And then go this way mm -hmm. like that over here. But the problem is that it's kind of like a, a very narrow, yeah, no, you know, it's very narrow. narrow and it's terrible. They, had, they had a lot of construction there. Yeah. Yeah, so one way was, for a while it was just one way actually. They had you had you had uh, they had people who would yeah like it's like only one direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nasty, nasty route for bikers. But I did. I have seen the the bridge being built there, right? Yes. Yeah. It, looks, it, it, looks it like, looks like it's almost ready. It's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I just think about like our bike bridge. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's like it's like <laughs> how can the EPA build the bridge so fast? It takes, and we're still talking about it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's embarrassing. Uh, but but anyways, I did look at that. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Cause I, then I was thinking of the same thing that you were right, which is yeah. then I could bike along this way, right? Yeah. And then I, I could bike. Yeah. Um, across the bridge, right? Yeah. And it's a it's a fairly uh, wide road, mm -hmm. but it's a kind of lonely road, nothing mm -hmm. on it. But uh, and the only reason I don't take it right now is because, I mean, it's not from here to here. Know, it's nasty. Yeah. It's a. Uh, there's some uh, commercial operations and the pavement is bad and it's just kind of nasty. Yeah, yeah, but I, I think um, I think that would make it kind of a natural because not just not just from people here, right? There's bits of other shopping, right? Yeah, so yeah. and I imagine there's also shopping here, so it's easy. So yeah, yeah. I think you're right, by having this connection yeah. increases the kind of yeah. bike connectivity, right? Yeah. And the other another point mm -hmm. that with, with 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 this being such a uh, thriving shopping center. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm glad here is thriving because I, I heard the last market shut down, right? So yeah, but but this is really working. That's it's great. a wonderful market. People love it. What, what do you think differences between this market and the last one? Uh, well, the last one was Albertsons. No, well, no, that the one, the interim one. Well, yeah. well, that was simply a matter of it was an East Coast operation, and they shut down all three mm -hmm. of their extended West Coast oh, uh, operation, which they opened up only a, a year or two, mm -hmm. a year or so before they mm -hmm. this opened. Mm -hmm. This was the third. And they just decided that they weren't they weren't suiting, uh, you know, the customers weren't uh, weren't being uh, served. Mm -hmm. or they they weren't agreeing with their customers. Something. I see. And I heard that they just they, they were shutting okay. all the operations. But down this is but this is doing well. Though. So this is doing very That's well. Awesome. Really well. And people that run it are really nice. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's it's outgrowth of a. A company that's been operating a grocery business, uh, produce business mm -hmm. up in uh, San Mateo, I guess, for a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, 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 it's a pleasant market to, market to, to go to. It's good that it's, heard, so, it's good that good to hear it's thriving because he, you know a lot of these small markets are just shutting down, right? And yeah. it's good that this is yeah. successful. That's good. That's good. We go there all the time. A lot of people go there, you know, just uh, sort of every two or three days rather than getting. They go, yeah. Gigantic shopping carts yeah. where they just go for the days. Yeah. The other quite the other thing I wanted to mention is the Channing Avenue mm -hmm. is a direct shop between this Edgewood and downtown. Mm -hmm. And you used to have when I first came to Palo Alto, we used to have a bus, you know, the eighty five mm -hmm. bus mm -hmm. went up and down Channing, and that was a nice way to get downtown. And then that that shut down. Uh, there is the Embarcadero shuttle, mm -hmm. but it would be nice to have a Channing Avenue. Uh, Shuttle mm -hmm. again if, if if there's you know any once Palo Alto redoes its uh, shuttle system, mm -hmm. uh, it'd be wonderful because it's 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 less crowded, it's less traffic than Embarcadero getting on and off. It'd be more pleasant experience. How often do you think it should run? Well, every ten minutes would be good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but you know, well, I mean, I think the issue is that some people complain that nobody's riding the shuttle, right? So, I know. Yeah. So if it was every ten minutes, would people ride it? Though? Yeah. I mean, in, in commuter hours, it's, you know, I guess it runs every 20 minutes, every mm -hmm. half hour or so. But, so if you happen to be going at that time, it's great. Yeah. But, uh, and that's in Barcadero Road. This would serve a lot of uh, the residential area. Mm -hmm. I think people would hop on and off it if it were frequent. And But it's it's the problem, you know. It, the, 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 the free shuttles now... Uh, they they're so infrequent except at commuter hours. Yeah, it's kind of self fulfilling prophecy, right? Because it's not very frequent. Yeah. Nobody takes it. And yeah. I don't think the shuttles are all that pleasant. Oh. Uh, you know, there there are nice shuttles in the world. You look in, uh, in downtown Denver; they have this wonderful shuttle mm. that goes back and forth in their downtown area. And and shuttles that are nice, pleasant to get on and off, and particularly ones you don't have to pay for. Mm. You know, they'll uh, they'll do well, I think. Mm. And the shuttle we have is, is kind of like a small school bus. It's, mm. uh, it's not 
terrible. You have to walk up the steps to get in. No. So it's, I just don't see this. So anyway, for a number of reasons, we mm. don't get many people in the show. Mm. But, uh, well, that's a good idea. It can help reduce congestion because, you know, what, Kind of the, the big issue is, of course, single occupancy vehicles, right? So mm -hmm. if you get shuttles where they're taking like five people, ten yeah. people, right? Then it, it makes a big difference. Yeah. What, what if the what if the what if there was a better bike lane on Channing? What do you think that would do? That would be good. There already is a good bike lane, so I can't really complain. We take a Although look. there are places where it kind of gets crimped. Let me, let me look at the salad photo real quick. Yeah. So as you get up. Further along, it gets a little bit sure. Uh, so there's a parking good, on both sides of the street. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good bike lane yeah. until you get to about uh, uh, somewhere the, the, the road narrows. I get Lincoln and, and beyond, about, uh, beyond about here, it gets mm. tight. Mm. Uh, although it, it's, a, it's a good bike lane. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. So one thing I, I, I one thing I, I noticed it has parking right along mm -hmm. both sides of the street. Yeah. One thing I wonder is, um, because one thing that's going to be very popular is this idea of uh, protected bike lanes. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't yeah. feel comfortable biking, right? Amen. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. So so basically, you know, having so rather, you know, you see how you have a moving car, the mm -hmm. bike lane, mm -hmm. and then the park car, and then the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of cities are starting to do is they have the moving car, the park car. Then the bike lane, then the sidewalk, right? Uh -huh. So the bike lane is next to the sidewalk, right? Yeah. So it kind of protects, yeah. you know, protects the bikers, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. I mean, it looks like this could, street could actually support it, given it's actually mm -hmm. looks like yeah, it's, it's a nice enough. wide street. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but anyways, because I wonder if that, if we did that, would that because the nice, nice thing about Palo Alto is in general, generally you have really good weather. Mm -hmm. And it's very yeah. flat, right? So we could be yeah. in Amsterdam yeah, yeah, in terms yeah. of bikers. Or maybe better than Amsterdam. Amsterdam gets pretty, yeah. pretty cold, right. Right. right? Because their weather is so much better. We're yeah. flat. Yeah, we're yeah. flat. Yeah. And so if if we make it, but a lot of people don't like. So I asked some of my customers, why don't you guys like some of my customers live really close to City Hall? Uh -huh. Yeah. So why don't you bike to City Hall, right? And they said, yeah. oh, I don't feel safe. I'm yeah. Like, oh, gee, if you don't yeah. feel safe, yeah. Where about everyone else, right? Right. And right. so with protected bike lanes, maybe that makes people feel more safe. Yeah. And, and it's nice if, if somehow Palo Alto can find a way to make uh, bike lanes for for bikes only. Like yeah. in San Jose, they have the uh, Guadalupe River mm. bike oh, yeah, trail. Yeah, have you yeah, ever yeah. done that? Uh, I haven't done it. It's but I've seen very it, yeah. nice. Very nice. And then the Coyote Creek also, I believe, has when it goes up to the sort of southwest, uh, southeast. Yeah. And then the what the Guadalupe, but and then the uh, well, the river bike trail, it connects up, doesn't quite connect, but yeah. you can connect if you go on city streets to the one that goes to Los Gatos, mm -hmm. Los Gatos Creek. So, so San Jose has this kind of spokes of these big bike boulevards yeah, okay. into people. the city. Okay, yeah. So uh, yeah. it'd be nice if Palo Alto had some of those. I realize we're all built up and it's hard to sort oh, of no, take properties this, to do that. But, but this is just moving but, cars over. Just yeah, that's cars different. Over. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you so much for meeting. I really appreciate it. Sure.